The third example I would like to uh, explain for anti-epileptic drugs. So epilepsy, I think you're all aware of this. Um, I was a little bit astonished when I read the, the, the statistics and the numbers about how many people develop uh, epilepsy during their life time. So it's in the US, it's 1.2% according to national statistics. And um, the incident is a little bit higher in young children or other older adults. And epilepsy is usually treated with uh, certain, certain drugs, certain medication. And also here it's very important to adjust the dosage individually because it can really vary from person to person. So this is a study done by our uh, collaborating research group in, in Belgium, the laboratory from Christoph Stoff. They took five different uh, anti-epileptic drugs. So one is, is a metabolite and a DBS method was developed for this panel. Also here, the, the limit of uh, detection and quantification were met and the, the method was then validated and transferred into a, uh, or for a real life application. Uh, Robolit C18 column was used with a very, um, slow gradient for the beginning to, to get the separation of the uh, anti-epileptic drugs. And then uh, like a little bit of wash, wash cycle to increase the, the organic content, a lot to really um, recover the system from the sample and to, to get ready for the next one. So eight minutes per sample and the mobile phase was um, acetonitrile in water with ammonium acetate as a buffer system. Also here, I just took one um, a sentence block out of the publication. They used a spray addition and it was then evaluated against adding the internal standard to the extraction solvent or to spray it before the extraction. And what we can see is the spraying really nullifies the hematocrit bias. On the other hand, if you add the extraction, the internal standard to the extraction solvent, you can create an additional bias because depending on, on hematocrit, there could be another extraction recovery. But this is nullified when you spray the, uh, the internal standard on the DBS before the extraction. This is now also officially um, in the therapeutic drug monitoring guidelines, which appeared a few weeks ago. Um, that the, the spraying is really the gold standard to, to move forward for, for dry plant spots. Then the, the method was then finally validated and applied for 15 patients receiving anti-epileptic uh, drugs, also here in the sub-Saharan uh, region of Africa. And all three drugs were found in different concentrations. Then incurred the sample reanalysis was done, which was also within the acceptance criteria and everything was, was in good agreement and therefore also published. Um, a plasma DBS correlation was not done in this publication as there is enough literature which already uh, proved that here there is a very good correlation for the uh, anti-epileptic drugs.